Do we have anything? Anything new? No new results. Okay, let's move on. Folks, my next guest is a comedian whose new one-man show, The Old Man in the Pool, opens this Sunday on Broadway. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> See ya. How are you? you? Have you ever been here for a live show? No. This no, is live so audience. Cool. Live audience is a little, a little different. This very is nice. super cool. This is very nice. Now, obviously, uh, midterms are today, so I need to ask you the big question on all the voters' minds: How how did you end up in a Taylor Swift video? <laughs> You're in that's, Taylor that's, Swift that's music video. On CNN well, I mean, right it's now. the one question I haven't heard answered <laughs> tonight. How did you end up in a Taylor? I don't associate you with uh, Tay Tay. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I, yeah, no, I'm in the antihero video, which is it, it, it was just a fluky thing. It was a a, a a friend of ours, mutual friend of me and Taylor is Jack Antonoff, who's a brilliant musician. Sure. And, uh, How do you know Jack? And I, I've known him for many years. We met at Bonnaroo. Music festival about sure. 15 years ago. Yeah, no, for that real. Seems like you. And you uh, and then the, there you are. It just so happened she was writing. There you are. She there was writing is. the music video the day that we happened to meet and we were having pizza with Jack and a bunch of folks. And then uh, she thought, oh, you. In her, I think apparently in her mind she thought this is the dystopic version, the nightmare version of what my son would be. <laughs> And, uh, and, and and that's my dream come true. That ended up being my dream come true because she, she, I got a, a text from her, uh, I don't know, a month or two later. You got a text later. from her? Yeah. So you have her phone number? So sure. Uh, or, or a burner, or a burner sure. of you, some kind, you right? Do you have your phone out with you? Just no, I don't. I don't, I don't have it. Because we could text her. But I didn't even know. I thought maybe I was just being catfished because I just it's just a number. I didn't Did have... she say, hey, this is Taylor Swift? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't believe that either. Yes, no, I just thought yeah. I'm it's either Taylor Swift, would that be cool? Mm -hmm. And then or it's a someone catfishing me who's an excellent writer. You know, cause she cause she sent the script to this the video that's wonderful and very funny. And I thought, oh, this is fantastic. So either way, it's sort of a win-win. I go, <laughs> count me in, either Taylor Swift or catfish person. And then uh, and then we shot the video and I think it's a riot. And it's just yeah, it's super cool. It's just a little to be a little part of a big super thing. Now you've got a you've, you've got a new show here. It's a, a new one man show called The Old Man in the Pool. That's right. This Sunday. Hey. Thank you. Oh my God. At the Vivian Beaumont right up, Theater right up, right up here, right up, up up here Lincoln at Center, Lincoln yeah. Center. Obviously, one more shot of this gym right here. Uh, you know, it's you know. <laughs> Uh, My wife took that nipples photo. Nipples to the sky. You're selling. <laughs> My wife Jenny took that photo and Wendy really? McNaughton did the art. Yeah, for yeah. real. You're selling it with sex. So, <laughs> what's the show about? Well, yeah, I'm neither the old man nor the pool. Uh, I'm a, it's about mortality. It's about death and thinking about my own death. And I try, I basically, it's 80 minutes of jokes and laughter and stories about struggles with my own health that ultimately tries to make. Uh, people laugh as hard as they can, and uh, I've had really cool performing experience with it because a lot of people have messaged me on Instagram and stuff and said, I called my parents after I left. I told them I loved them, you know, like, I've... Oh, that's lovely. It's, it's amazing, and it's, it's been like, I, I did a... I was doing it in Los Angeles, and a woman at a talk back after the show said, I felt like, you know, I've, a few years ago, I lost a bunch of people in my family, and tonight I felt, and one of them was my dad, and tonight I felt like I was laughing with my dad. Oh, that's lovely. And I and I, and every night when I do the show up at Vivian Beaumont, I think about that person in, in Los Angeles. I go, that's who's for, you know. And so we thinking about your mortality. Well, and when you think about your mortality, I suppose you think about everybody's mortality. And sure. And for me, the way the whole thing is set up, you know. Yeah. Life, the whole way life is yeah. set up. Do you ever seem like a stupid way to set things up to you? Because uh, death seems like a really stupid way to end life. No, I, I think about I, th I think about that all the time. I think it's 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 all absurd, and the only way to deal with it is is with jokes in a certain sense. That that's sort of part of the reason I wrote the the show. And and I feel like I feel like what I think what one of your producers was saying that the way you describe this show sometimes is that you're not putting the show on for these people. You're putting it on with them. Right. 
And that's, that's what my yeah. show is like, in a way. And it, it's, there's a lot of, there's, a, there's some audience interaction. Mm -hmm. And the goal is that everybody feels like, okay, we're all in the same room together and we're all going through this very absurd thing at the same time. You, the, one of the people at your show recently was Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, he's Tom Hanks. Yeah, I know. And, and did you know he was there when you were performing? I did. He, he and I were in this, this movie called A Man Named Otto that comes out at Christmas. It was so good. Oh, that's nice. So What's good. What's that like to perform, perform with him? It was, oh, it was, man, it was cool, but also scary. You know the phrase, actor's nightmare. Yeah, yeah, right? sure. It's the idea well, that you don't know your lines. You don't know your lines. You're, you're late, you miss your cue, whatever. Yeah, so I had that. But it was just, it was with Tom Hanks. Like, I was on the set of this movie, and it was like the first shot of me in the movie, and they were like, you need to drive the car around this corner and then come up, and then the crane's gonna come in here, and then Tom Hanks is gonna come to your window, and he's gonna say blah, 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 and you're gonna say blah, blah. And I did it, and blah, 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 and I drove around the corner, and I opened the window, and there's Tom Hanks, and I blanked sky high, and nothing, literally nothing. And, it was so funny because, of course, here's this guy I idolize. I, I grew up with Apollo 13 poster on my wall. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, this is the nightmare, the actual nightmare. And he, you know what he did to me? He did the, the thing that sometimes actors do to be generous. He goes like, he tried to feed me my lines. He goes oh. like, how do you feel about me? Do you oh. think I should move from the neighborhood? Oh no! Oh no! I know. So, so he but treated then, you like a slow child. Yes, and then, and then, uh, then he. It was, but it was a wonderful experience. Over, like the movie's amazing. And then he came to the show the other night, and I had this idea for a TikTok because every day I would show up to to set, and he would do jokes from my specials to me. Like yes. he, I have a bit about someone thinking that I'm someone's brother. And so he would go, you're Joey Bag of Donuts, his brother. And he would do the bit for me. And I was like, my life is so surreal. Tom Hanks is doing my bit for me. And I was like, that'd be a funny TikTok. But I was like, I can't say this to like this Oscar award winning actor. Do you want to do a TikTok? Yeah, I can't do it on the set of his movie, but I can do it backstage at my show. Mm. So I did it. I asked yes. him the other night. Mm. And then we did I it. We got we got to actually run here because it's a live show. Oh yeah, yeah. It was wonderful to see it was you, great Mike Birbiglia. The, the old man in the pool is at the Vivian Beaumont Theater through January fifteenth. Mike Birbiglia, everybody, we're right back.